Hello, my name is Charlie Martin. I've been a member of Sagemont since 1976. In that year, Brother John called a meeting of the men of the church. And at that meeting, he said that God was leading him to call out an army of the men of the church of 300 men who were willing to give 40 days of their labor to the Lord. I attended that meeting and as the meeting progressed, I began to doubt and to see, wondering why I was there because what he was saying that he wanted to accomplish, I didn't see how I could, could uh, participate. Well, as, as the meeting progressed and well into the meeting, he said, now men, he said, if you don't have it, you can't give it. But if you determine to participate, God will provide for you to participate. Well, I went home and told my wife that what I had done, and she said, well, I hope God will provide because if He doesn't, I don't see how we can make it. Well, we agreed that I should participate because we believe that God would provide. Within one week of that commitment, I received a telephone call from Mississippi <clears throat> where I owned 120 acres of land. This man on the other end said that uh, he would like to cut my timber. In that call, before I, I hung up, I said, uh, by the way, I said, how much, how much do you think, how much timber do you think I have? And he said, well, said, you may have as much as $25,000 worth of, of timber, but we won't know until we cut it. So I said, well, if, if if I decide to cut it, I'll give, you, I'll give you notice. I thought about it and I had a good friend who was a judge in Loosedale, Mississippi, and I called him and asked him what he thought about it. He says, you better not let that guy cut it because he'll go out there and cut everything on it and ruin the land for future uh, development. But I know a man over in Wiggins that is in this business. He's a Christian gentleman and uh, he makes his living tending to things like this. So he gave me his name and telephone number. I called this man and made arrangements for him to go out and, and look over the land and see about what he thought I had. When he called me back after his assessment, he said that I probably, going by certain rules and, and leaving enough timber to reseed, the, reseed itself, it was pine timber mainly, that I, I should have about $40,000 worth of timber. I began to wake up as to what was happening and I realized that God was in the middle of this. So I told him to go ahead and let's, let's make arrangements to cut it. So he sent out a, a flyer to 120 different buyers of timber. The man that was handling the sale went out and did a close, very close assessment of what I had. And uh, he called me back and said that according to his very close assessment, I should have about $56,000. And boy, by then I was, I was walking on air. And when he got the bids back, he said they must not have had another stick of timber to cut because the high bid was 88,000, and I believe it was 700 and some odd dollars. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. 
I told him, let's sell it and cut it. By then I was totally convinced that God had furnished a lot more than 40 days. So counting my uh, salary at work and the sale of the timber, I was able to give 120 days of my labor. <laughs> oh, praise God. <laughs> oh. I want to say a word to the young people in this, in this congregation and to anyone that may, may have access to this testimony. You cannot imagine how good God can be to you if you'll only trust Him. He is faithful and He does everything that He says He'll do in the Bible, but you've got to trust Him. And don't wait until you're an old person to trust Him. Do it now. Do it while you're young and you're, your whole life. God can, can take you places you, you can't imagine. He has promised. He says, you, you can't imagine what I've prepared for those that love me.